I came across an African lady talking about alligator peppers a few months ago and I wanted to research it before I brought it to you guys so I can make sure that the information I'm giving y'all is on point because this is something new to me but I want to take y'all on this journey so when y'all are watching this this will be months after probably a few weeks after I've already used the pepper and all of that type of stuff but I want to show y'all the proper way to handle your alligator peppers when you get them so that you don't fuck up because these are very important these are very special just the fact that you come across the information for alligator peppers is a blessing all in itself because these are spirits. Each one of these alligator peppers is a spirit. And you have to show respect, you have to show appreciation, and you need to introduce yourself to the alligator peppers. So when you get them and you open up your packet, Okay, you want to first keep them in said packet if you're not using them. I took mine out because I'm going to bury mine and start preparing it for usage. Okay, so this is how you activate it. The first thing you want to do is you hold your pepper. You say, hello, alligator pepper, my name. You just want to introduce yourself to the spirit telling them your name. I try to always keep them either in dirt or on a glass plate. Don't put them in too much plastic. I am going to put some dirt inside this pot here just enough dirt for them to sit in for 21 days for them to be at their peak of usage you want to put them in dirt and you could just put them in any plant that you have already potted. You can just move the dirt around and slide them in there and leave them in there for 21 days. But I'm going to give mine their own little pot because I have seven of them and I want all seven of them to be activated. So there they are. And we're going to leave them in here for 21 days. Now, I don't feel like you have to do the 21 day if you need the alligator pepper now if it's an emergency and you need a blessing a cleansing anything like that go ahead and use it but to fully empower it fully bury it and you don't have to do it the way i'm doing it you can literally if you have a tree on your property just go bury it by the tree you want to put it in a spot where people will not walk over it no one will reach over it. No one can knock it over. None of that stuff. So you can either put it by a tree outside and just make sure you bury it under the dirt a little bit. Nothing too heavy. You just want it slightly covered. Or you can put it in a pot like I just did. And I'm just going to leave this for a few days. Once, it's, once we get this done, then I'll show y'all how to properly activate it because y'all got to see my whole body so I can show y'all the proper way to activate your alligator pepper so here they are buried i'm gonna put them in a spot where nobody can cross them if you're on your period do not touch them if you've just had sex do not touch them okay you need to be cleansed you need to not have resentment you need to not be in anxiety you need to not be in depression when you're handling said alligator pepper take a cleansing bath at least pour some blue on you before you touch them so that you can make sure you're fully cleansed and you're not putting any negative energy into this alligator pepper, okay? I invite you to join my mystery school where I have created a safe place for you to learn magic and how to make your own metaphysical products. You get weekly life lessons where I teach love, money, banishing, and protection spells. You get a weekly tarot class. I do monthly prosperity spells for my top tier. And you get exclusive early access and commercial free content. Join today at patreon.com forward slash insight by Tesh.